Trick Shot Challenge 2.0A. It's been a while since the first one. So basically, what's a trick shot? Um, I guess you actually, it's different this time. It's not, you know, shoot the juggernaut through full logs. It's like, it's just beat the round, I think, right? I believe so. Let's do it. If I had to guess, you have to bounce off this tree to get the right angle before it regrows. Last. I would get Pat 14. Yeah, I need level 14 Pat, I think. Based on the starting cash. Level 14. Go, 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 go. 8k left. AMD. And uh, two spike balls on the back. Actually, nope. Let's Pat buff it too. Like here. I don't know why we got long reach, but okay. I'm out of money. Ability is not up. Hmm. So I gotta place it further back then. If I don't have the pad ability in time. I'll try here. Like, I'll wait till it's here so we have the pad ability, and then maybe I'll bounce out the tree and then bounce back. We'll buy camo, by the way. I don't want to ruin the Srams. How much HP, by the way? Uh, 17 HP. 17. Juggernaut Bald is 3. So 3 base damage, plus 3 with pad ability equals 6. 2 zero, zero equals 7. So 2 shots of 7 is 14. Then I'll be 3 HP on the Srams. Is that what I want? Well, I'll give it a shot. Oh, I can sell, I can sell. Hmm. I guess I'd use Pat. No, no, sorry. If I sell Pat, I'd lose the buff, right? I don't quite recall, but I'm gonna just assume right now. Only one spike ball. Pat ability? Aw, oh, the bouncing. Bad. Yellows. Probably not what I want. Let's start the test. Wait for it. Not yet, not yet. Not yet. Now. Go, 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 go. And not quite what I want. We need 9 damage to turn Sarams to, to nothing. Spike Balls is how much damage to Sarams? Let's, let's check. It might be buffing Spike Balls. Okay, so Spike Balls has 5 Saram damage. Uh, 5 plus 3 from Pat is 8, plus AMD is 9. Okay. So we basically have to leave Sarams to 1 HP. And then with Pat buff and AMD, Spiked Balls will one-shot Ceramics. But I first need to get Rams to 1 HP, all of them. I need to find a way for the Juggernaut to do 16 damage on this Rams. Is there any combo of AMD? Uh, maybe 4 AMD shots, guys. Because 3 plus 1 equals 4. So 4 times 4 equals 16. And then I, I use Pat not on the Juggernaut, but on the Spike Factory. Know what I'm saying? Oh! And the reason why range exists is because you don't drop Spike Balls. Before pad ability, so every spike ball does 9 damage. I know it's confusing, but hear me out. That's how you do it. So let me do this. 3 zero, zero, and then I aim the buff, and then... Yeah, do the thing. Buy range after. Now, I can't afford everything, though, so let me just see. I can't buy Juggernaut, right? No, I can't. I will probably sell Juggernaut for upgrades later. Let's restart. I'm gonna first try... Uh, uh, getting Srams to 1 HP. That's the first step. So let's do this. I think it's still here. This bend. So AMD buff. Play. I can sell it, by the way. It lasts 10 shots. I only need 4. 4 shots. 1, 2, 3. I mean, that, that was decent, actually. Some of them are 1 HP. But the ones in front, yeah, I see. This middle clump is 4 HP. You can actually tell. Now... It's too late because I didn't buy pan time, but yeah, that's how I'd win. I would aim the buff and then, you know, give range. So here's what I'm supposed to do. I'm just going to do all the aim buffs first. So I don't have to worry about it later. You know what I mean? But for now, let me just try first. Okay, sell. Yeah, sell. I know not all of them are 1 HP, but whatever. And now, wait for it. Pad ability, AMD, like that. Although, don't put this in range. See here? This would work, if not for its spawning yellows. So I gotta, yeah, get, again, get everything to 1 HP. Bounce back, please. Uh, almost. That was 
fairly decent. Gotta find the angle. Nope, that went down. That's not bad though, look. Almost everything is 1 HP except for the last 5 6 ceramics. Nope, I whiffed. Completely. Oh wait! This yellow, th this orange. Hmm, that kinda helped. But again, I'm missing a little bit, first one. Let's watch again. Uh, everything? Everything? Missed the last, like, 15. So now the third shot is messed up. Um... That missed. I don't know what to do with the third shot, dude. One shot? Good. No, last will not angle properly. Oh, okay. I get it now. It's the other way around. Yeah, that's the problem with layer skipping. You don't know where to skip layers. Like, you, you think it's 1 HP, but then there's no way for you, to, for someone to know it's it's incorrect and you have to actually do 10 HP. Okay, so apparently you have to leave 10 HP, not 1 HP. Because that way, two spike balls will kill it. Because 10, 9 damage is 1, and then 9 more damage is nothing. That makes a little more sense, because we can get every, every ceramic hit. I found a spot with that, but it was not doable with 4. So basically how I have to do 7 damage to Srams is by AMD mid-round. Like, one shot with 3 damage and then one with 4. Yeah. <laughs> That's how it'd be, I guess. So, one shot, there we go. Sell. Not sure that did 7 damage to everything, though. So that's probably not the answer. Which placement got all the Srams in 2 shots? Let's check. Nope. I do think it bounces off this tree, though. Let's try here. One shot. Good. That got everything right. By the way. AMD. Oh, no, not Pat. Please throw on the right tower. Yes, there we go. Uh, let's... Pat ability. Range. Oh, I can't buy this. Oof. Oof. But you see there? It one-shot all the Srams. Unfortunately, I spent too much on AMD. Because it, it, it didn't buff the right tower. How do I guarantee AMD drops? Because it's it's random. Oh, I know. I know Pat's ability works further away. So let's do... Uh, let's buy it first. Play the round. I'll give AMD buff first. You know? To this back three. So I don't have to do it after. But that's annoying. Let's do this. Let me just set everything up, alright? Bam, 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 bam. Okay, I did it. Sell. Sell. Oh, I didn't sell. There we go. Uh, pad ability. Bam, 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 bam. Alright, there we go. 69 bucks. Intended. Now, did I have enough time? Yep, I did it. I did it. <laughs> cool. So, it's a nice challenge, but I had to, you know, it's hard to know exactly what you need to do, unless you're told how much HP. How much HP exactly you have to do to the first part, and then what you need for the second part. So, precisely, again, 17 HP ceramics, you get one Juggernaut Ball to hit everything to turn to 14 HP, buy AMD for plus one, and then that turns to 10. And so, uh, these guys can two-shot them with their nine damage. That's how this challenge works. So no druid, glue, or ice. We only have 6k to beat 76, no knowledge. We can sell though. Uh, do we have Mauler? I remember the uh, Alchemist Mauler strategy. Uh, what's the HP? 13 HP? It could be similar to that, that, that challenge. Where I have to skip every layer between ceramic and nothing. So how much damage is... Mauler due to ceramics? Is it 4? I remember it got nerfed. And if I buy this, it's 5. If I buy this, it's 6. Let me just see. 1, 2, okay, 2 shots turns to zeros. Which ain't what you want. Hmm, what if I use Ben ability and then sell and then get Alchemist or something? Because then I can get both the Alk buff and the Ben buff. Use Ben, sell, and then get 2, 0, zero. Maybe 3 zero, 0 if I can make it in time. Okay, the cooldown's so long. Let's try here. 
Ben, see ya. Okay, only 2 zero, 0 That's not that great. Yeah, maybe it's another tower. Maybe I don't upgrade the Juggernaut so I can get a 3 zero, 0 up buff. And that gets a lot more layers. So here's what I mean. Don't actually get 4 2 zero. Just start with a 1 zero, 0 And then buy everything I need to once it gets close. I don't believe it is. But that, yeah, this. This. See ya. See ya. And let's go. It's a lot of layers. Greens. Okay, yeah, I think this is it. We get Juggernaut to get down to greens and then get another tower. Maybe a recursive or a more glaives. Bam and bam. So watch first. Wow, first almost got everything. Uh, what can I afford with 3, 2, 3, 6, 5, 2? This? I mean, I still miss ceramics, but I'm just trying to see. 3, 6, 5, 2 is not enough for a lot. The, the later I use Ben, the better, by the way. So leave on first. Until it times out now. Again, I still missed. I missed a few ceramics, right? This, this boomerang is so bad, what? 100 damage only? Pathetic. How much damage does Ballisti do? I'm curious, yeah. Let's try Fortified Ceramic. 6 damage with Knowledge Off. Alright. Maybe that could be... Uh, that could be replaced over Juggernaut, because... It has 100 Pierce. Okay, it's, it's making a little more sense now. If I actually get Intel, but don't get Towers in Intel range... Uh, that happens. There's no dart. So maybe this could be the starting tower and then I get something else. I get my, you know, my Juggernaut. Okay, let me try to evenly distribute the damage. So, uh, I want all the Srams to be 1 HP. It's gonna be hard, but let's keep trying till we maybe get it. Like this. So first for two shots and then last. Last. That's a pretty even spread, but... You see, the middle is full HP. Full HP. No alpha buff, by the way, on the the dart. Oh, and it by level 3, Ben. Okay, hold on. Ben ability. Sell, sell. Ooh, we can afford it. Yellows. That's not ideal. Let's see. Ability. Bam. First. No, it still missed. It still missed that. Not sure what I can do. But let's see. Can I handle this tiny bit of pinks, yellows? Well, not with boomerang. But that's definitely a lot less balloons on the screen, I'm pretty sure. So four shots of the Juggernaut turns Cerams to 1 HP. If I switch around the uh, ballistic and dart, then maybe. Now we gotta find a dart spot that gets every Cerams to 1 HP, but that doesn't actually, you know... Pop everything to 1 HP, if you know what I mean. Let me try, actually, big range. Because the attack speed doesn't matter. 1, 2, 3, 4. Not quite. I missed a few. Uh, what if I sell in two different spots? So, let's do this. I'll sell to two shots. Two shots. 1, 2, okay. Here. 1, Two. Okay, there we go. They're all 1 HP. But that cost me a lot of money. Now. Uh, so if I out buff the Ballistic and then Ben buff, that's 9. I can't afford all this, can I? That's so expensive. Let's give it a shot, though. Uh, Ben? I can buy it, but it's only 0, 3, 0. Strong? Hmm. That should have been 9 damage, but I think the darts were in the way also. Is there any way we can sell dart like 0 times and have it work? Okay, uh, here's another thing we do. So if the Juggernaut does 3 damage, what if we leave the Cerams at 7 HP? So that the Ballistic at 9 damage is shot. Wait, no, that doesn't work. 7, 9... Actually, no, there's a way it can work. Um... Alright, let me try one shot. So that will turn Cerams from 13 HP to 10. And then Ballistic can two shot. 
So one shot only. Bye. That's 10 HP. And then I get everything else. Strong. And then use spend ability like immediately. So this, this, two shot. There we go. Don't time out. It timed out, but there's only a few ramps. Okay, blue balloons. That's easy. Easy. Easy, right? Wow. That is so dense that not even cluster bomb works. All right. Almost GG. But the ballistic doesn't actually beat every ceramic. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I only get four shots. There's no way to get five. I don't even if I was fast. So if I use this, the ceramics are down to four HP. Uh, juggernaut. Nope, can't afford it. I don't know, man. We're we're very close. There's just a tiny sliver of balloons left. Alpha buff, Ben. One shot, two shots, three shots, and four shots. And... Uh, GG.